Hey folks, got a fun update here to close out 2024, which I'm calling Ban Settings 3.0. Because I don't, I don't know what else to call it. This update improves the band settings menu to make it easier to use and navigate and also revamps the preset system. So now we've got a bunch of new presets organized by category and it's easier to save your own presets. Plus the mandolin and bass have some new abilities, which I will show you. I'm pretty excited about them. Uh, but let's dive in and take a look at this new band settings menu. So as always, you can find the band settings under the song title on any song page. And as before, the, the current band is shown at the top here. And you can click into any of these instruments to customize them. I can go in and I can choose different strumming patterns. And then down here, I can, you know, change how it is. I can really tweak a lot of different settings. But the focus of this update is actually on the preset library, which is now down here below the instrument settings. And we have a bunch of new presets and they're organized by genre now. So let's click into bluegrass. You can see there's a bunch of different presets and I can click on one to load it up and hit play to hear it. And then I can click on a different preset, hear how that sounds. See which one is best suited for this particular song. Now you might notice that some of the presets sound similar to each other, especially in the bluegrass category, because the differences can be subtle. If you don't hear a difference between two different presets, don't worry about it. It might not be a difference that comes up in this song. Like it might have to do with bass runs between different chords sounding different. For instance, if it's a modal preset, like a bluesy preset versus a non-modal preset or it might have to do with chord voicing. So don't worry about it too much. Just try to find a preset that sounds like you would want it to hear. What? So the presets are a good starting point for getting the band to sound the way you want them. And then if you want to tweak further from there, you can go back and click into any instrument and make some changes. And then once you've got the band sounding just how you want it, you can add it as a preset. Now you don't have to do this because as soon as you make changes, those changes are saved with the song and Strum Machine will remember that the next time you go to play the song. But if you want to save this band to play in other songs, add a preset. I click here, I say, I don't know, give it a name. Then I save that preset. And now this preset can be found under your presets, my presets for any song that's in that time signature. I can also go and edit that preset at a later date and update it if I sort of change my preferences about what I want that particular sound to sound like. There isn't a way yet to directly share a preset with another Strum Machine user, but there's a workaround. If you have a song that is either one that you've created yourself or one that you've edited and made your own version of, like you see here. Then if you share that song with another Strum Machine user, when they open the song, they will have your settings there and they will be able to listen to it and optionally save it to their preset library. So it's sort of a workaround for sharing presets. In the future, hopefully we'll have a way to share them more directly, but I wanted to mention that as a, a workaround we have now. So what I'd like to do now is demonstrate a few of these presets and show you how they sound. And all, that'll also give me a chance to show you some of the new things that the mandolin and bass can do. We'll start with the bluegrass swingy preset because that's the one that everyone was drawn to when we were doing user testing. This is us trying to give you a more Jimmy Martin feel in the strumming pattern with uh, big strums and a lot of upstroke swing and a sort of a busy boomba chaka kind of strum. Let's compare it to the bluegrass standard preset. Maybe you can hear the difference. It's subtle, right? But it adds a little more of that kind of swingy sound. So this is a fun one, not for everything, right? But this will, for the little bit slower songs where you want that swingy sound, give that a try. Compare that with the bluegrass soft preset. Now this, we've dialed the strums way back. And this gives us sort of a gentler, sweeter sound, uh, which works 
better for certain songs. You just have to think about what, what does the song want and um, see if a preset will match that. Bluegrass Mash. Now, I've tried to record this segment a few times and I cannot figure out a good way to describe Mash. So just give it a listen for yourself. Think about if you are familiar with the Wolf's River Band, Allison Krauss and the Union Station. This kind of sound, this big, heavy, kind of edgy, powerful strums. And then also listen to the mandolin. Can you hear how it's a really dry sound? So you can now customize the sound of the mandolin to be between soft and loud and voiced and dry. And furthermore, you can add rhythmic accents. So a lot of accents might sound like this. And if you play around here, you can get different sounds from the mandolin. Moving on into the country category, we've got a country shuffle. This is pretty similar to a bluegrass sound, but it's been tailored a little bit to that uh, country sort of 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s sort of sound, honk and tonk. It works for a lot of this kind of stuff. And eventually I'll be adding like a little bit of snare possibly to this one too, but we don't have that yet. I also want to point out the walking shuffle. Now we've got walking bass. That's right. You can add walking bass to any song. Right now, there are no options for the walking bass, but eventually I'll add some so that you can make it a little more towards the jazz side of the spectrum or towards the simpler sort of country uh, blues side of the spectrum. Let's listen to that walking bass in more of a jazz swing context. I've got the guitar muted here so you can hear the new mandolin swing style dampening. Finally, I haven't added a preset for this, but both the bass and the mandolin now have halftime options. So this is what that sounds like, halftime rhythm. I hope you enjoy this new band settings update. And of course, if you have any questions or feedback, just get in touch through the help menu, click email support, and I will be uh, delighted to read whatever you have to say. Thanks for watching. Have fun. And if I don't make another video before the end of the year, which I probably won't, happy holidays and happy new year. I'll see you in 2025.